Alright, so I got the birds flying um, earlier this morning. They just got back. I finally got them in. You know, um, some of the birds are being annoying and they don't want to go in, but some of them are, are going in real fast. Um, actually, it wasn't that bad. I think they were just only hanging around here for maybe less than 10 minutes, but it seemed longer. Um, another update for you guys. So I was, I, was, I, was, I was counting my blue bars. There's one extra blue bar here that's not mine. Um, let me just try to look for it. which one. I kind of saw the band, but it's our uh, so it's our racing pigeon band right there. See that? I don't. That's not mine. But the band is our uh, it's our racing pigeon band. It's from our uh, club. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Um, it looks like a young bird, but we'll see. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so here it is. That's our loft visitor right there. Um, it is a 2020 bird. Uh, it's a racing pigeon bird. It's from our club, so it probably belong. Most likely, actually, <laughs> it's for sure that it belongs to uh, one of our club members. It's a 2020, uh, it's a 2020 band, but uh, um, it's not that skinny. And actually, it looks pretty good. It's not. It's not too skinny, um, but it looks like it's it's been lost for maybe like a couple of days. Um, there he is, right there. Um, it's pretty cool because he he knew how to use a trap door. Um, yeah, it's a it's a young blue bar. Um, he followed uh, my group, so I I didn't even notice until they all landed, and I said I think there's an extra one. So and they followed everybody, um, and surprisingly, he knew how to use a trap door. Uh, better than some of my birds but uh i guess he's just really hungry and thirsty all right well here here's the bird uh i gotta go ahead and contact the owner for this one and uh return this bird to one of the members um there's the bird right there all right all right there it is good morning everybody the birds are finally back in they're settled in uh so they, they uh today they flew for about almost an hour not exactly an hour but you know they're getting better uh there's my loft visitor right there there they are so my uh dark checkered and with, with white flights finally has uh sitting on an egg right now uh, hopefully she can lay another one tomorrow but i noticed that they're i haven't seen this one sit on that nest <laughs> but uh we'll see they just started so hopefully they can be good parents these guys uh the egg hopefully the egg hatches today or tomorrow um so far so good with these guys uh, my white racing pigeon so those two eggs hatched already i don't know if you guys can see but yeah, it's a little blower yeah those eggs hatched already these guys eggs hatch already also they're very protective um, these guys, uh, these guys' eggs already hatched also, so, which is good, so, um, they all hatched almost at the same time, not the same time, but same day, um, white racing pigeons are getting bitter, bigger, um, so with those two, um, if I don't lose them, I'm gonna have seven now, so, three more to go, 
I'm probably not gonna have uh, 10 uh, as planned. I'm probably gonna have just nine, hopefully, seven or nine, but uh, we'll see. Um, well, I think that's about it here at GPS Loft. Um, it's exciting news right here. So I've never had like a, like a pigeon come in here um, that I that actually went in uh, my loft right here. But this guy did pretty smart. Um, yeah, well, that's about it. Um, the eggs here, they're way late. I thought they were only gonna be like a week or you know at two weeks at most but they're way they're way late so i don't know what i'm going to do with that bird right there um because these guys are all at the same time so all right well have a good day everybody have a blessed sunday take good care of yourselves and uh stay safe <laughs>